Hi guys, um, it's 7 p.m. So I've been working all day, hence the glasses. Yeah, that's a little better. I look a little less dorky. But I'm at my PC. This is week three, Monday. Um, right now, guys, I've just booked my accommodations for Japaniku 1.5. Obviously, I'm sure you understand, I can't tell you like right now where I'll be staying. Uh, I'm not revealing when I'm going like exactly and I'm not revealing where I'm staying. Uh, until the actual travel vlogs come out, I'm sure you'll understand. Um, but it took me a long time to choose to decide because for one, I didn't know if I was going to be like staying the whole time in Tokyo or doing like an overnight trip. Um, but turns out with the amount of time that I have and the budget that I currently have, I can't afford to stay in another place. I can't afford to check in, to check out into other places the way I did. For the previous trips so i will be doing day trips i'm pretty sure guys that i will be doing day trips as i've mentioned pretty sure i'm gonna go to yokohama pretty sure i'm gonna go to kamakura and enoshima but i think miko i'm gonna have to give up on it because it's not somewhere that can be easily done on a day trip it's more like you have to go and at least stay one night and um to really like experience Experience the whole thing. I've calculated like the amount of things that I want to do in this short amount of time that I have and it's it's so tight guys the time is so tight the budget is so tight and I know I keep repeating myself but I think I'm like stressing out like here by myself just a little being like what am I doing what am I doing <laughs> but um, right like maybe like 10 minutes ago I just booked the accommodation I know technically if nothing goes wrong I know where I'm going to be staying and this time I won't be moving around um, obviously it's not a fancy hotel it's not even a hotel it's um, it's like it's like the one I stayed at last time it's not this it's not Toko I love Toko but I wanted to try a different uh, part of Tokyo so I can be like closer to areas I haven't visited yet or that I want to visit more and also I want to be closer to some uh, main stations so that I don't spend too much on transportation because Toko was amazing but it was really far away um, from Shibuya and everything and those are places I haven't really been there if you know what I mean okay I'm rambling again uh, what was I saying so yeah I have my accommodation not a hotel it's a hostel like Toko I uh, hope it's as good. I don't. I don't think it'll be as cozy. It looks like a little more like um, chain type of thing. I ho I just hope I don't have a bad experience because if it sucks, I'm stuck there for the entirety of my trip. I'm not moving at all. So yeah, <laughs> that was stressful. I thought about it. I had like a list of like my finalists, like with the possibilities, and I was like, I want to stay at all of them. I want to move. But yeah, I have to put it into my own head as well that this is 1.5 and not 2.0 and I'm already spending a lot on this trip and uh, yeah, with basically money that I don't have yet What the hell, good thing that you can reserve and pay when you get there, otherwise, yeah <laughs> Fun time, so as I was saying, I've been writing a lot I have all of this All of this are written pages of things that I could possibly be doing the only thing is that well, I mean Tokyo takes most of it Tokyo is like three quarters of it yep it's still Tokyo uh, and then we have Nico because I still wrote down because I still I wanted to go but the more I researched it the more I think it's not gonna be possible this time got two nice pages on Nico and things around Nico then I have Kamakura uh, and uh, Enoshima I don't really know how to get there yet. I still have to figure that stuff out. And Yokohama, the more I read about Yokohama, the more it seemed like a really fun thing to do. Maybe on a day trip or maybe on... Well, obviously it's on a day trip, but maybe I'll go like multiple times while I'm there. I don't know. I feel like if Tokyo in itself is like there's so much to do and so much to visit. I have no idea how I'm gonna cram everything during this day, but I'm really, really excited. Okay. Accommodation done that was like a big stress because the earlier you book it the better it is for prices and to make sure you have a room in a place you want 
so I hope I made a good decision. I think that's all I can tell you right now anyway. It's a hostel, I think it's a decent price, it's in a different location than where I stayed last time. Different vibe also I feel. Um, yeah. I kind of looked at what transportation there was around. Seems pretty decent. Like you can, I could even walk for most things. Yeah, I'm losing the plot of this. I'm gonna let you go now. Hey guys, um, barefaced, about to go out. It's the 22nd of December. It's a Saturday. It's like the weekend before Christmas. So the cre the, 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 cre the streets are super crowded, but I'm interrupting this little Japaniku vlog uh, to say that today I have made some sandwiches and I'm going to give them around to people who are in the street right now asking for money. I'm going to see if they want something to eat. Uh, maybe some of them will say like, go away with these stupid sandwiches, I just want some cash. But uh, it's the least I can do at the moment with my situation. I used to do this a lot more when I had a job. Right now I'm living as an artist, so I don't have any income. But I can make sandwiches. They're still kind of warm from the toaster. They probably won't be warm by the time I give them out. But I'm gonna try this and um, if you know me, I have very bad social anxiety. So I'm really nervous right now to have to interact with people. Usually when I have to go out, I just put my iPod in and I just do my thing, go shopping. But yeah, there's one time of the year where you can give back and do something good. It's now, so I've made some sandwiches. I put a little heart posted on top because I've heard that isolation is really hard when you're on the street. So I'm hoping that will give them a little bit of love. And uh, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that if I can um, motivate you, sorry, I have nervous hiccups. <laughs> if I can motivate you to do something, anything today for somebody, please do so and um, happy holidays if you're watching this around the holidays, Merry Christmas, whatever you're celebrating this year. Um, if you're alone, I'm sending you a lot of love. I'm very isolated also, as you know, so sending you all the good stuff, the smiles, the courage, the motivation, and uh, I'll see you very soon in the next clip or in the next video. Bye!